for dead. You know all about the no-go areas. You haven't said anything to me, Mum, have you? Keep still, will ya? No, of course I haven't. The papers are bad enough. Every time anything happens on the front page, she goes on about how good it was in the 60s, when she was our age. She'd have a fit if she knew about him. Can I stop now? My arm's getting tired. Right, Ta. Uh, we better get dressed. Dirty beer has got a hit list. She would. Her gloves and black suits just keep adding more and more names to it. All the blades they fancy. They knock them off one by one. Skip that. I think I'll get one. What about Alvis? After Alvis, then. I think he's on Dirty Mirror's hit list. He saw a movie that night. Who? Wayne. And he moved him. It was just like his life story. But he got jumped by some thugs on the way home. No one came to his rescue. He was just washed up and left for dead. Nobody told him he was just not wanted. How do I look? Beautiful. Hello. Hello. I'm Billy, and I'm going to enjoy myself first. Yeah. 
Give us a pull. What for? Come on, I need a pull. How'd you get in? My mum rings me. She collects me when she's done the shopping. What's your name? Adrian. I'm Billy. Billy Two-Tone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Got a colour telly and black and white parents. All right. Two-Tone's dead. Enjoy yourself. Why not? Did you get off with any of them? Nah. No future in it, is there? It's all right when you're in the water. They don't notice then. I think the one called Debo might have been all right. The one with the tits? And the hair. Anyway, they fancied you. Yeah? Yeah. I told them you were married. Does it hurt? Nah, but he works best in water. What happens when you grow to the leg irons? Oh, I got a new set from the government. Free? Yeah. Neat. See you again then. Sure. Hey, Adrian. Why don't you come with me? Where? Don't know. Right, sure. Give us your things. We'll pick them up later. What happens when your mum comes to get you? Uh, she'll think I've drowned and go home before the crying melts. It's all a load of bollocks. <laughs> this morning. Drop dead. He was nice. Which one? The ugly one. <laughs> Which ugly one? <laughs> My mum did it with my little brother, and it was really animal. It's called therapy. Something's good for me, so they say. Where'd you live? It's a new estate. Council? Private. Oh. I don't know why we bother coming down here anymore. No. What are you doing tonight, Debo? Going out, I suppose. In with the gammy leg, Astro. Cheeky sod. Not going, are you? Ready, then. What was it like with Mickey last night, then? Big. I couldn't do it with someone I didn't like. 
Ricky's all right. It's just a bit fit and a bit creepy. Got an amazing car, though. Black with black windows, just like a film star. Film stars don't do it in cars. No, I suppose not. The first time I did it, it didn't matter whether I liked him or not. It doesn't the first time, does it? I wanted to see what it was like. He was there, so we did. Anyway, it was uncomfortable. Oh, piss. What's wrong? School on Monday. <laughs> St. Edward's. It's a school for limps. Walking limps, talking limps, you name it. There's a limp for it. Did you get any real knuckles there? No. A couple of teachers are a bit dodgy. We call it the monkey house. Some people come to stare at us while we're in the playground. They come to watch us not fall out. So we stick on a good show for them. Good morning, sir. You are our millionth customer of the week, and we are happy to inform you that you won a holiday for two in the Bahamas. Great. Mr. Cortina. Metallic paint. Gear with all optional extras. All gold. Will it go fast stripe? Mr. Vauxhall Chevette. Bought it for the wife. Now the kids are grown up and cars are their own. Midlands Blue starts first time. He should know better, but he's no better than the rest. Picks his spots, dreams of power bulges and Capri 3000s. Then wipes his mirror clear us all clean, in case his mum finds out as a man with pus in his skin. I don't think they like us. Yes, young man? Can you give me a copy of this, please? Well, we don't cut keys. But it says you do up there. And I say we don't. Anything else? Look, it's from my bedroom door. I've got a padlock it. WPC 545, skinhead sister replacement. Keeps raiding my room, chucking my records about, and nicking my clothes. So he has to keep it locked. Look, all he wants is a copy of his key so that he can still get into his room to make his bed. And play with Macaulay, which isn't a dog. No, my sister is. I reckon you go for her. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute. What do you think of this, Len? To know. It's nice, though. Expensive. Great to go clubbing in, eh? What if you have to get a bus and then queue to get in? Well, you wouldn't, would you? Not on a bus. Oh, come on. Alright, I must go and down a bus. Don't 
mind. It's all right if they come. Yeah. Come on. Sandra! It's all right, I know them. Come on. Have a surprise, I'll take you where I'm going. I know it's a really good place, you'll like it. What's it called? Oh, I'm not going to tell you, give me a surprise. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, you don't know. Oh. He spends his weekends with a load of blokes. He forgets the punchline when he tells a joke. He wants to stay out, he don't want to go home. Till his nicotine fingers are stuck down his throat. I'm going to have some of this. Hmm. That ought to be preserved. A monument. Why that Roman place where all got stoned and turned to statues? Fossilised. Hmm. Makes me feel old. Like my parents, listening to Radio 2, remembering. Ah, it never really happened. It was just a fashion thing. Wait a minute. Maybe not where you were standing, but it did happen, though. I remember. But didn't stand a chance once the stereotypes got hold of it. They bought it up, put it in a packet, and sold it back to us. Black and white clothes for black and white kids. We could afford it. Only a bit of two-turn left now. There's a band round the copper's hats. Yeah. What's your dad do? No. Uh, he's a teacher. What sort? Girls. Big girls. What's it like? What? Screwing. Who with? Come on. It's all right. It's great. That's magic. I've never done it. Come on, let's get some chips. Hey, what's the chance of me dropping me drawers before they drop the bomb? Come on. It's nothing personal. You can't have personal feelings in politics. And who's going to tell my dad to piss off? You're going to do that, boss. I don't know your dad, do I? Never said anything about him. And there's Alvis. Thought you liked him. If you get rid of him all, there'll only be you and me left. And anyway, I don't fancy you. Look, it's not funny. The English people have never been told the truth about black people, Pakis, Jews and Catholics, and what they're doing to our country. And you all not know the truth, do they? They do as it happens. You should come to one of our meetings. Why me? Because you look like a Nazi with your blonde hair. Just like Hitler. They've got figures on paper to prove things. How all the colour people are taking our jobs, our money and our women. Don't fancy me there anyway. to one of your meetings, I'll say I'm his sister. Better still, his girlfriend. Hey, I can join the British movement. I'm British. Buzz? What? Where did you get that name from? It's horrible. It's not my real name, is it? What is it, then? It's my nickname. Who are you nick it from? from? Buzz, 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 buzz.
Adrian. He's all right. Shit, Billy. You should have heard what they did to Wayne. They left him for dead. No one tried to help him. There was no one there. Even his friends didn't like him. Wayne was ahead of him. Shut up, boss. He's on the danger list. It's no good, is it? You're finished. Shit. He thinks he's a sword and astronaut. Should be okay tonight at the club, eh, Billy? Yeah. You going? Let me miss church Saturday night. You coming, Adrian? Of course. All right, it's Debo to come. Who's he talking about? Debo. Someone will sort the pool. They're always there. Long black hair? That's right. Just wear a tarts chain around her ankle? I don't know. A feet are in the water. So I think it is. She won't be there. She used to go to my school. Hangs about with a bunch of thickos in cars. Anyway, I don't think she'd fancy you, if you know what I mean. Why? I only limp when I walk. Sudden alpha! They got me! You should hear yourself. It's horrible. You don't have to use language when you're talking. And that is only a game. You kick the hardware again and I'll kick your ass, OK? You, black boy, you should know better. It's only doing its job, you know. <laughs> hey, won't any change. Anyway, there's all these kids watching, and the bloke comes out of his shack with a shotgun and starts firing at the car. Nasty. Wish I'd watched it. They don't. It's all arranged for them. Well, I think it's disgusting. It shouldn't be alive. Not here. It was a grandmother's fault. The dad was all right about it. Yeah, so we asked what would happen if a grand wasn't here. She said it wouldn't make any difference. No. Anyway, they burn off and they get away this time. So Perry, he's, that's the leader, Perry, he decides to shack up with this bird. But she turns out to be a police informer or something. So he has to kill her. And that really pisses off his mate, you know, because he fancies her. Anyway, then there's this shootout. Oh, it's really great, you know. Coppers everywhere. So Perry, he reckons his mate set him up, you know, because he's shooting the bird. So what he does is put a load of explosives right through the house and connects it all up to the light switch. Then he calls in his mate, asks him if he did set him up. His mate says, what if I did? And then Perry switches on, and up they go. House and all. Blimey. I could marry someone I didn't know or love or whatever. My mum did. Oh, that's all right, though, isn't it? They're divorced. Suppose. I should have bought that dress, you know. Well, what happened? She had to get married and leave school. We don't see her anymore. Well, we wouldn't, would we? Do you hear about the Irish dog? Thought it was chewing a bone. Got up and fell over. <laughs> what was supposed to be doing then? Wanna go somewhere else now? Yes. He's a creep. Your creep's got the car. Anyway, they want to take us out tonight. What about Mickey? Mickey's driving up to Scotland with the firm tomorrow, so he's staying in, isn't he? Well, I'm not going anywhere with them, Sandra. Spoil it for the rest of us, silly bitch. Silly bitch. You, Buzz? Yeah. It's all right for you, but a lot of my mates will be there, won't they? All you've got to do is help me dole out some leaflets. There won't be no bother. We won't start nothing. Look, if I were your mates, you've got nothing to worry about. If they're not, it doesn't really matter. Right? I suppose. We look after our own inner movement. They know it. It's just a bit difficult. Why? I go to school with a lot of them. That's all. No one said it was going to be a doddle. You're either in or you're out. That's it. We've got to do the cleaning up. Get rid of all the filth. You can't keep your hands clean when you're shifting shit. Can you? How's your dad? He's OK. We're visiting him tomorrow. 
You put your name up? Yeah, table three. After that lot. Lucky. I'm really bored. Elvis, I said I was bored. Rock us off then. I might just do that. Why? Charming. Gives me a headache when I smoke it. I can never afford it. He nicks it from his dad. If he finds out, I'll tell my mum. Better still, I'll shop him. I'll tell my sister. WPC 545. I hate your room. It works. It's all right. Boz is beginning to get on me tits. I'll smack him next time we see him, if you like. Ta. What happened to your leg? <sighs> it got ill in Cairo. Where's that? Egypt. What were you doing there? I lived there when I was a baby. You are English, though. Yeah. Of course he is. Now stop gassing and get into bed. Piss off. Anyway, it's against the law doing it for me. Where he comes from, if they catch you at it, they chop your plunker off in public. That's disgusting. Off with his chopper. Plunk. <laughs> What do you want? You want to go somewhere? No. Why? I like it here. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I'll take you over if you like. Come on, Rhoda. Anyway, my mum's getting on at me. And I'm supposed to be shopping electric. We'll go to my house, then. Then what? Whatever you want. I don't want, do I? Snogging in your room. Getting caught by your mum. You're not even very good at it. I always know what you're going to do next. I can always stop you before you get there. Of course, you're the expert. I can be quite sophisticated, you know. Why don't you buy a record? What with? I don't know why I bother seeing you. We never do anything. Because you fancy me. You don't really understand, do you? Billy and Electric are always doing things. I really like Billy. He's all right. You coming or you staying? What's in the suitcase? Clothes. Underclothes. Shoes and towel. Toothbrush, new. Toothpaste with a stripe. Socks, lots of them. Handkerchiefs. Soap, carabolic. Nicked off my sister, the policeman. A tie and a suit. Why? I'm going away. Where are 
sure you never told me. We didn't find out until this morning. Who's we? Him. Me and Adrian. Where are you going? We won a holiday for two in the Bahamas. That's right. We're going to visit his uncles. On my father's side. In the jungle. On Concord. We're leaving tomorrow. And we get there yesterday. Oh, yeah. If I really tell you, you won't believe me. And if you do believe me, you think I'm crazy. And if I don't tell you, you only keep on at me. Once I've told you, I wish I hadn't. Thinking in big chunks like that gives me an headache. So I just think short things now. Things like, I'll cross the road. Well, she's nice. Sometimes I think the more complicated things. Things like, would it be bad manners to have five spoons of sugar in my tea? When visiting old aunts, who are very, very poor. But not often. What's he on about? I don't know. An historical figure called David Bowie. Who's he? An old romantic. Once said that the future belonged to those who could hear it coming. Or something like that. Well, I can hear it coming. Oh, thanks, Billy. I'm joining the army. You're not. Why not? We'll all be in the army soon. I can't even get a bad job. And I won't have to grow my hair, will I? It's got to be the safest place to be. They've got shelters in the army. And suits you can piss in for 14 days if you don't want to get your chopper vaporised. What happens then? You drown. <laughs> You're mad. Um, it's a job with perks. Listen, they're all down there trying to get in. It's a job with a future. Look, I'm not a boxer. Can't play guitar. Can't even steal properly. There's a whole group of us going down there. Not real soldiers. Just blokes like me. Don't worry. It might never happen.
Don't worry, will never happen. Let's go. Yeah, I've got to go and see Rhoda. <laughs> Sorry. Could be a war hero. Or something like that. You'll have to add your age. Say time very much to the Queen when she gives you your medals. What about you? Acrobat. Lion tamer. Princess Anne, that's a good job. President of America. Or Russia. They're good jobs. Pilot. Spider-Man. Man of CNA. Where are we going? Job centre. Opportunities for shoots. Cairo, then. Right.
Are you talking about? Look at his dreadlocks. Why don't you grow salt? Because my dad would kill me, that's why. But rude boys are obsolete now. Tell him you're a dinosaur. Ah, uh, piss off. You're extinct, Alvis. As I was saying, anyway. What's this? British Movement. Just read it. It's bollocks. It's free. Just read what it has to say. I said it's bollocks.
Snogging round the back. He's all right. What do you think of my jacket then? Mm. It's different.
Joey Debo. I'm cold. It was bloody cold. This It was good tonight, though, wasn't it? Why don't you piss off? 